I'm Ellen Lustig. I'm a Chicago artist and today I'm going to teach you how to make a sock puppet. This is a sock bunny puppet that I made from all the supplies in my own home. I actually had gone online to look at the do-it-yourself videos and most of them require that you go to a craft store or a grocery store or Walgreens or someplace to get supplies. So I'm assuming that you need to pick up things that are in your own home. So I'm going to show you the supplies you'll need. We have a cup here. We're going to use this to make a circle. Glue. You can use Elmer's. I like the tacky glue better if you have that. A scissors. This is polyester batting out of an old pillow. We have a marker here. I used a um, chopstick for applying the glue. And we have an earplug here that got stuck. <laughs> we need an earplug. We're going to use that for the nose and a rubber band. You can get this off your asparagus. If you don't have a rubber band, you can use a hair band or a metal tie. A quarter, we're going to use that to make circles. And a piece of cardboard. This is from a box of big crackers. It's pretty sturdy, but you're, you're, you can cut this. It's very easy to manipulate. Some, some cardboard is too hard to cut through, so don't use that. An empty matchbox and uh, two cotton balls. Now, when I was making this puppet, I was making it at my boyfriend's house and he didn't have cotton balls, so I became very resourceful and found this cotton on a stick that I cut in half and peeled apart and made that's what his cheeks are made out of. So those are all the materials we need. Let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the top part of your sock and put your rubber band around it to seal it off. Twist this a couple times. And then you're gonna take your scissors and cut right down the center like this. Okay, so we have a split at the very top. Those are gonna be the ears. Now what you're gonna do is to seal the, these ears are very frayed at the edges. So what I want you to do is take some of your glue. I'm gonna use my tacky glue. And I'm gonna use this, pop, this, uh, this stick to apply it. So I'll dip it in here. And then I apply it to the edge of one side on the outside. Make sure you're applying it to the outside edge. You can see that there. You're gonna fold that in, you're gonna fold the other edge in, and it will be like you're sewing a seam, but not with thread, you're using glue. Now if you don't have glue, you can sew this. So here we have one ear that's completely made. We're gonna do the next one, apply the glue, Fold that side under, fold the other side under, make a seam and press, and now we have another ear. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do is taking this wad of polyester. If you don't have that, you can take a, take a big wad of uh, cotton balls, make it into a ball, and we're gonna push it into where the rubber band ends. That's gonna be our head. Okay, so now where the heel is, you're gonna make a fist with your, with your hands like a mouth, okay? So to make, to make the mouth though, we need a piece of cardboard so it's not so flimsy. So what we're gonna do is take your coffee cup, put it on your piece of cardboard, and you're going to draw a circle. You're going to cut that out. Here's the circle. Cut that out. So you have a circle. If you look at the inside of your cardboard, there is lines going uh, vertically, horizontally. So you want, you want to bend on the horizontal lines and fold that in half. 
So now we have a mop. What you want to do next is glue the inside of that mouth. So let's apply some glue. Okay, we're going to set that down for a second. What you need to do is put your puppet right back on your hand, find that heel area, and you're going to squeeze, making the mouth, you're going to squeeze that heel together. Then you're going to take the bottom of the sock and pull it through, still holding on to that section. Now this section is where you're going to put the mouth you just glued. You're just going to catch it like that. Put it on that part. Hold, hold this in your hand and then take, <laughs> take the sock and bring it back over your hand. Now you might have to adjust things a little bit here. Push that heel part into the mouth. And there we have the beginnings of your bunny. Or you can make another animal. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cotton balls. We're gonna put some glue right on top of the mouth area. I'll put a little dab here and a little dab there. And you're gonna stick on the cotton balls. One, two. So now we have some bunny cheeks. And what I did is I actually cut the, the ear plug. Here's, the ear, here's an ear plug. I cut just the bottom part of it. So we have a piece about that big. You're gonna glue the back side of that. And just stick it in between those cheeks like that. Now we need some eyeballs. So we are gonna take this empty matchbox and for the white part of the eyes, we can open this up. Actually, we don't need it to be dimensional like it is. Flatten it out. And take your quarter. Your quarter is gonna be your template. And you're gonna make a circle. Try to make a dark line, kind of thick because you want to cut outside of that line so you can still see the black part of it that will delineate the eyes better. So you're going to make two of those and then you're going to cut those out. So after you cut them out then you'll have these two white circles. Now for the, for the eyeballs you can take your matchbook and open it up flat again. And then cut two circles. If you want to use the back side of your earplug as a template, you can use that to make a circle. So you have two circles that are going to be the same. There's one and two. Okay, you'll cut those out. So you have two black circles like that. And then you'll glue those onto the white part. Now it's your choice where you wanna glue it. I like to make the eyes crossed because I think they're goofy looking that way. But if you want the, the puppet looking to the left or the right or up or down, that's your prerogative. So now we got two eyes. And we have to glue these on to your puppet. His cheeks are coming off a little bit. I'm going to put a little more glue on there. All right. Take the glue, put it on the back side of the eyeball and put one eyeball on. Put it on the back side of the eyeball. Put the other eyeball on. Okay, it's coming right along. All we need are some teeth. 
So with the same piece of cardboard from, from the matchbox, you can draw some teeth. Again, try to make darker lines so they show up. Hopefully you have a pen that's not like mine that's running out of ink. There we go. Okay, kind of look kind of looks like a little house. So you're gonna cut that out. It will look like this. And now we just put a little glue on the back of that. And there you have your puppet. Let's put that on, see how it, see how it works. There you go. Have a lot of fun and make sure you have a puppet show to go along with it.